We have a Lenin. Hey, it's cheap. It is cheap. It is cheap. We're going well, in pig I'll bay. Tell you. What? Quickly. No, 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 no quickly. Go quickly before right, we go. go. No, we've got 15 seconds. Oh, all right. Lenin and Vladdy have the highest alpha strike. Besides right. Kansas, because it has more guns, but that's it. Yeah, and also it can it can bait uh you know bow tank. So let's go into this game. We are currently in the if I can remember uh de drunken deckhands and like that game. So drunken deckhands versus Val. Let's go in. Hopefully I did that right. Hopefully I did that right. So let's quickly go in. We are starting off with the Lennon right here, which of course basically is a discount. Nelson, Akva, Kansas, Lightning. Kansas again, Cleveland, and Oland right here. We're going to see exactly how the teams move here. We do have multiple ships moving north. Basically, it looks like everyone's going everywhere on this, which, you know, once again, this map is notoriously, you know, do you go A or do you not go A? And then, of course, the other way around, do you go C or do you not go C? We got Vanguard, Albion Marie, Lightning showing the HMS Firepower right there, and then a Kansas backing them up up just like world war ii we got can or got vanguard over here albe marie and i can't say it right sorry someone sent me the the actual way to say it and we got husky in the benson absolutely with the first uh attack right here where we've got the aqua versus the benson the backup right here is a lot i'm gonna we're gonna see how well that light cruiser handles let's go up in the top view to see the overarching conflict go up here of course, smoke can save you at times. You for you know a lot of people forget as long as you're staying mobile in that smoke and not firing as often. Sometimes you can you can slow your fire rate. It sometimes can do that. And of course, we're seeing one torpedo hit on Black Queen right there from Husky. Great job on that. We got the uh, Albe Marie absolutely having a tough time with some fires, but probably just holding off and waning on that situation in order to make sure that they get that three fires threshold or, Hey, just let them burn down. Don't worry about it. You know, that we're the sacrificial offering type situation. We get taco over here. Absolutely getting a little beaten up, but they took a, and that's the most important thing. So we have two, Caps versus one. So let's see exactly how they can work out from this and where they push. Over here, we do have a Lenin flanking. Okay, we'll see if that works out. <laughs> I don't know if that will work, but we'll find out. Now, I do have to say, both Sweet Child and Hold My Beer have absolutely, definitely taken a good bit of fire damage from the Akva, so that maybe is showing its strength on that situation. Down here, we have an Olin and Zetoy in the Cleveland absolutely punishing the Albion Marie up here, while Tack has pulled away in the Vanguard, taking a decent amount of damage. We do have a Kansas in the middle providing superior firepower over the area but it doesn't look like to be providing that much triple ggg taking a good amount of hits from tact which is a great uh, you know option to do though i feel like he would probably be a better chance right here we do have two dds absolutely moving in there we have 1080 and hq in the lightning let's see exactly lightning on lightning right here we do have the lenin coming back into play over here we're gonna see if that works uh, but of course, we do have a good amount of firepower watching over there. Akva waning and holding out, waiting for that position to, to strike, which is a great opinion for that. 1080 and HQ absolutely uh, taking the fight there. We have multiple torpedo launches towards that Kansas. And of course, that Kansas is stopped. It's slower. Those torpedoes are fast. And when you've got that capability of sending off a direct line on that ship, that is a great job. And it looks like those are all going to connect. So 1080 did a great job. Unfortunately, it looks like HQ and all the support from the Oland and the Kansas is probably going to take down 1080 in that run. Let's see, can they get away? Getting close to that BB, absolutely trying to use that, that targeting effort to, to mess up their shops. Great job and great use on that from 1080, but unfortunately, too much firepower takes down 1080 right there in that runaway. Still did a lot of damage to that Kansas, but that Kansas can tank, and that's the whole purpose of it. That Lennon going down, showing that flanking Lennon doesn't do jack crap. Uh, I don't know why it did that, but whatever. <laughs> Sorry if I'm being a little mean on that. Akva absolutely is playing the islands exactly how it should. Stay behind the islands. Give it cover whenever it needs to. Albion Marie moving in. We do have one cap versus two caps, but it looks like the Kansas is taking a good amount of damage. Let's see if the northern side can retake the cap advantage. They do currently have the points advantage, but not the caps advantage. So let's see how they are looking. In terms of points, Raisins looks like, unfortunately, taking a lot of damage on fire. Not sure if the 
does it have repair? We don't know. We're going to have to figure out on that, see if a second fire or a flood comes in. Because, of course, you want to wait to, for that second fire. One fire does not do a lot of damage. Two fires does enough damage that you want to pop that heal. So make sure and be careful. We are seeing two vanguards come in absolutely tanking for their team. That is a great job, but still triple GGG showing the firepower of a Kansas Alpha. Absolutely doing a great job on targeting in that situation. Even though that Vanguard's definitely tried to do a whole get down Mr. President situation right there. But we do have Tachology and moving uh, and Husky specifically moving in on B right there. We do have an Alve Marie showing, hey, maybe this ship is actually underrated and just absolutely holding C in that position. HQ can't go in there. That HE from the Alve Marie is dangerous as all get out. The Akava is really sitting back heavily. And I don't know if that's gonna help overall let's we'll have to see exactly we do have a lot of ships rotating in and out from the northern side because of the amount of damage they've taken they really need to take out another gun or two on the southern side from val uh triple gg definitely taking a good amount of torpedo hits from the Albert marie which of, of course the single uh torps are great yeti is moving for a roaming position and maybe trying to go after the kansas which would be a great absolutely going for the kansas great job and great position situation and smoking up unfortunately i would have smoked up probably prior to firing that way that person has to literally figure out tactology going down from the aqua great job usage on that fire chance and and the capabilities of that ship with those rapid firing guns but unfortunately it looks like also another battleship is going down with a fire let's see oh they're repairing Ooh, yeti's in a, in a rough position there definitely should have been an absolute kill but unfortunately because of a heal able to keep on let's see if a second fire can happen second fire can't happen that is not looking good for uh shire over here triple ggg absolutely holding a but b's getting contested by uh an oland right here we definitely have some pushes on C, pushing back, hold my beer on C, pushing them out. They had an excellent, great job up north, absolutely holding that situation. But unfortunately, just too much firepower, too long, absolutely just uh, keep you know pushing them out of that cap and you know preventing them from staying in there for too long. Sweet Child taking a lot of damage from the Vanguard has armor, but unfortunately, it's just kind of that bigger armor. But that early cap lead... And just or actually I should say the later cap lead from this team. I'm gonna let Pig Bay correct me on that one. But yeah, wow, that was a tight game. Pig Bay, what is your yeah. thought on that? Holy crap. I mean, it was a close game the whole way through. Um there was a lot of cap exchanging, all right. That that middle cap is what, you know, came to be a, a factor oh, for yeah. it. Because they only won by what? It was like forty points or something like that? Yeah. It was not it, much. it wasn't no, yeah, that, and then normally we don't see games like that in you know these settings, and a majority of the, the teams were still alive. You know, I think it was what like four and then five people. If I'm not mistaken, yep. yeah, let's see that. Yeah, five and then yeah. So I mean, that's what it came down to was just battle attrition and who held the caps better. Yep. But there were there was definitely questionable plays. Yep. Um. Say Lennon. That got rushed <laughs> that by Husky. So <laughs> you should know better, but it what? it it panned out. It oh. panned out, and they won. Oh, I know they they won. It was just such a unique play for the Lennon. I was just like they could have picked. It's a nice way to put it. Unique, the unique play. <laughs> That's an interesting play. It worked right. It worked right. You know, I, I'm just yeah, thinking, like, just with the deserved. Lennon being nine, you could have brought in another Akava to burn everything down. You could have brought in a Sashio, a Yukikaze, Oland, and yeah, brought in something better. Like, I, it's an interesting. I feel like there was for... wasted time, you know, sailing behind these islands yeah. that you could have spent shooting. Oh yeah, because the Lennon's not like the Vladdy, where Vladdy has like a 25 second reload. Lennon's sitting at like 22 or 23. Oh, yeah. It's fast. So. It, it can do a little bit more damage, but also it's just it can't tank. No, it can't, can't tank, tank, but it does have the alpha. But holding and C I, I for don't... that long, unfortunately, I can't remember their name. And with that, they held C hard in that album. Mm -hmm. And with that, I know I'm yeah. slaughtering that name of that ship, but whatever. Um, uh, But yeah, no, they held C incredibly well for by themselves, prevented that DD from taking it. There's a lot of map play. That is definitely going to be something watched over 
for a little bit because that was excellent play against these are excellent counter play movement around there we are seeing definitely the speed in certain tier 8 ships being far more important than their tankiness or their firepower at least in my opinion